Hey guys, welcome back. This has been off for the BTN HD. And yes, today is all about removing the server response header within your website. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm gonna right click on my start menu, click on run, type in WinVER, click OK. And I'm running everything within this server 2019 version 1809. Uh, I'm gonna open up my server manager and I'm gonna show you guys that I am running IIS as my services and I'm gonna open up my IIS manager and I have a website I have a dummy website up and running right now uh, if I navigate it locally it's up and running it's just a dummy website just to do some testing okay what we need to do is download postman which is a free app uh, you, there is a paid version I'm not advertising for them postman is one of the tools that I've used so I'm gonna type in postman within google.com and go to the first link click on download the app it's going to take you here click on download and it's going to download the exe file once it's completed downloading uh, i'm going to click on it it's going to start loading up you're going to get this nice little page i already have a sign in information so i'm going to log into the app and once you log into the app i'm going to click show me how it's going to take you here it's going to give you a uh, kind of like a little sh short little lesson of how to use it click next there and then just end the lesson now from here I'm going to type in on the text box my IP address okay make sure that you want to do a get command and just click on send it's gonna start sending the request and then once it's completed it's gonna give you more information now the information that I want to get into is the header part because again we are removing the header part within our server so when you click on header one of the things that your site should not be uh, pushing out to the world is the server type. And if it's running ASP.NET Framework, that's a thing that that's another thing that you need to hide as well. For this site, it is distributing to the world that this server is a Microsoft IIS version 10.0. If a hacker wants to get into my site, they basically know that what particular server I'm using and they're gonna to try to find exploits dealing with IIS version 10.0 and attack my server. So we need to remove that. Now to remove it, we need to get inside IIS manager. So make sure you in make sure you click on the server name. And within the server name, let's go inside HTT response header, double click on that. And if you have anything in here, remove it. Okay. We're gonna open up PowerShell. I'm going to open up Windows PowerShell IAC as an administrator, and we're gonna run the two commands. Now the first command that we're going to run is basically attacking my website, and we are running a parameter of remove server header and with the value of true. Now the second command is uh, we are running the entire app host, and anything within the app host is going to do, um, it's going to set a remove server header to true. Okay, so those are the two commands. Okay, once you run those two commands, we have to reset your IIS. So within my PowerShell, I'm going to do an IIS reset, hit enter, resets the services, and you're good to go. Now, if you go back inside Postman and you hit send, it's going to start sending the request and get the information from the server. And if you go back inside headers, you're going to see that the server is you know, it's disappeared. It's not indicating that it is running an IIS server uh, version 10.0. That is a good thing. You're masking it to the world. Now, another way to do this is to download URL rewrite. It is an extension for your IIS. I'm going to provide the site for you so you guys could download it. You're going to click on install this extension. It's gonna download the exe file, click on the little arrow, show in folder. It's gonna open up my downloads folder. And the reason why it's, uh, I had to click a little drop down because I'm downloading everything within a Chrome. So that's the reason why I could do this. So I'm gonna right click on the exe file, run it as an administrator. It's gonna start loading up. That's a good thing. Wait, when you get this part, click on install. It's gonna prompt you another dialog box, accept the terms. It's gonna start installing, uploading, and once it's completed, it's gonna give you this. Just click on finish. When you get this right here, just exit out. If you had your IIS manager up and running when you was installing URL rewrite and it's not there, most likely you have to just shut down or close the IIS manager and then restart it again. And if you go to your primary server node and you go inside the IIS section, you're going to see URL rewrite. So double click on it. 
And once you double click on it, on your right hand side, let's click on view server variables. And we're going to click on add and we're going to create a new variable. So we're going to call it with all caps response underscore server. Click OK. Awesome. Let's go back to rules. Click on add rules. And the rule that we want to do is an outbound rule, which is a blank rule. And click OK. From here, let's add the information. So I'm going to give it a name. And for the matching scope, I'm going to set it to a server variable. For the variable name, I'm going to give it the variable name that we provided, which was response underscore server. And for the pattern, it will be a period with a asterisk. We're going to apply it. You are going to get a little warning. Do not worry about that. And then restart your IIS. If you go back to Postman, hit the send. It's going to start sending the requests. And you're going to see now on the header where it says server, it's blank. Now the first option that I gave you, it kind of removed that server attribute. On this one, it actually makes the server blank. Now, if your site is running uh, ASP.NET, my site is not, but I'm going to show you guys how to, you know, remove it within your site. If you go inside the main root of your server, mine's is the quest. Inside that folder, I have a web.config. Open it up with your favorite editor. Uh, I'm going to right click on it and edit with Notepad++. Uh, if you had ASP.NET, you are able to add these following um, code. You can add this following code within your web.config file and save it. Restart your IIS and it should disappear. Now, I made a mistake and the mistake was on this right here. It should be HTTP with a capital P protocol. Okay, I forgot to put an extra P. Now, if your site has ASP.NET, most likely it has this particular uh, coding within the web.config. If it does, what you want to do is make sure that you find the HTTP runtime and add enable version header to false. Once you add that attribute within your HTTP runtime, enable version header to equal to false, save the file, restart your IIS and then your ASP.NET should be gone. For me, I didn't have it within my website, but if you have it, this is the way that you can actually remove it within your server header. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Make sure you subscribe and share the video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.